All right, what's happening? So this is going to be your recap for UFC Font versus Vera. So uh, you are guys already know we took uh, two bets, two underdogs, and uh, Tristan Connolly and Marlon Chito Vera. So most important is um, that we still made money because you guys know I always tell you bet the same amount on each fight so you're not fucking with your gambling portfolio so let's say you bet a thousand dollars on Connolly and you bet a thousand on Chito Vera the fact that they're both underdogs you would have still made money obviously you're not going to make the same amount of money as if they both won but if one wins you still make money because the fact that they're both underdogs I gave you but uh yeah let's get into uh Tristan Connolly Darren Elkins man Tristan Connolly looked like dog shit dude how the hell do you go from beating Michelle Pereira at welterweight and just having that bad of a performance? I know he went through neck surgery and this, that, but man, he looked bad against uh, a guy who I think is not even a great fighter. He could have uh, beat Darren Elkins, but uh, that's the way she goes, right? Um, betting underdogs, sometimes it's risky, but uh, what can I say, man? Chito Vera does it again. Like I said, he's going to come in, steal those later rounds, man. I'm just mad I didn't bet more on him. But I bet the same amount on Connolly and Vera. And uh, I ended up profiting a bit, but just not as much as I wished if uh, Connolly won that. But uh, these fi- these cards have been dog shit, so I haven't even cared to bet too big on these, like I said. Uh, stay away from these uh, minor cards right now. But, uh, man, I don't know if you guys watched that Arlovsky-Collier fight. Um, Jake Collier won that fight. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. I don't think Arlovsky should have been uh, granted the decision win. Someone someone judge pet at 30-27. Can you believe that? 30-27? No way. No way. But, uh, yeah, man. Chito Vera... Uh, end of each round, if you guys seen end of the end of the each round, he starts to push that pace, and Rob Font comes on early in those rounds, and he seems to gas near the end, and that's where Chito ended up hurting him every single time. Uh, it was a left, it was a lead left hook in that second round, and it was a knee in the third round, and then I believe it was like a spinning back kick to the head, which was crazy. Um, yeah, man, Chito's for real, dude. Um, I do think he's going to have a hard time with the the top guys in that division. The Yans, the Sterlings, I think they're going to give him a lot of trouble. But uh, if he keeps fighting guys like uh, Rob Fawn, I think he can win. Um, I'd like to see the rematch with him and O'Malley. Obviously, the UFC uh, doesn't want to give O'Malley that, that fight back. They think Chito's just going to run through him again. But uh, I'd like to see O'Malley and uh, Chito get that fight eventually back. But uh, yeah, UFC 274 coming up. I'm going to have an ice pick for you. And uh, maybe more than one, but uh, for sure one. 